There we go. So, I think we've got a problem with Myriad. I was I was going going through, I was trying to familiarize myself what I'd done, and I think we've got a bit of an issue. Right? So we're talking this so this is the the video we're using to watch the boxes, yeah? So let me can I slow this thing down? There we go. Right, watch the boxes, yeah? So, oh, I'm not sure if, how far he's got to go. Ah, there. Ah, there. Right, here we go. Because I think we've got a problem with the boxes. Come on. Go on. Oh, yep. There we go. Right, look at the movement of the boxes. It's line by line by line by line. Yeah? But, if I do it for us... And I'll see if I can slow it down. It's missing a line. Every time it jumps, it's missing a line. Right, so I'm going to put my cursor underneath it, right? It's definitely missing a line. So I think we these boxes are doing a double a double line jump. So we've got to find out why. It was only it was only me. I was looking at us thinking they're moving rather quick until I realized it was it was doing it. Adding 50 instead of 28. I have no idea. But this is the routine that does it. So this is the execution, yeah, of the boxes. So we check the timer and then we do this. So we're gonna, fight, we're gonna let's just check this over, right? So left hand, no. 50% chance. It's got to be this. It's got to be the change of direction. This one. Evaluate new direction. It's got to be that. Right. Let's see. Yeah, the boxes go diagonal. If, I, if we go back to the video. So we just rewind it just a tad to about there. There we go. The boxes do do go diagonal because that's the whole point. They're going down, but the the I don't, they never go straight down. I think they go. See, they do go at an angle. So, yeah, but it's so we've just gotta just gotta figure out so. We're doing this chart. It's this weird flow chart. If you remember the flow chart, it's this weird flow chart. So we're doing this. Now the y, the y direction is always going to be one, yeah. So we're always going to be running down this one. So that's going to be here. So the x direction. So the y direction should only be one. It'd be interesting to see what the y direction is. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's just check. Because I'm not sure. But he's definitely moving two. Right, so we're in the middle, yeah? So we're just about to do that loop. So we're looking at 60 and 61. Right, 60 and 61. So 60, 60 was... Let me just get this right. Let me just get this right. Was it elements? No, it can't have been. Yes, it must have been. Yeah, elements. Right, so 60's X, 61 is Y. So we are one and one, right. So we're gonna run through this this particular flow chart. So one and one. So we're in there, we load 61, which is Y. 
branch if plus, which it is, then we load 60, which is X, branch if plus, which it is, it's one. Then we load X again, branch. Yeah, the boxes look smaller because it's on a 64, yeah? And so the characters are smaller because we got 40 characters on the screen, remember? That's why the ship looks like it's been on a diet, yeah? But that's where the 64 comes into it because I'm hoping to have a far bigger alien array than we would have on the Vic so we can have more more bad guys on the on the screen. So 60s X so branch if plus which is there load 61 it is plus. So we are right this is where it could be potentially going wrong. So load zero, do that, do that, store it in 60. So that, so that zero, that stops it moving, right, that stops it moving across on the X. Then we're gonna do it again. Load 60, which is X, but now this is branch if equal. Load 61, which is Y, which is still one. And then we're, ah, right, so this is where we're inverting, we're inverting X. So before it was going right, it's now going to be going left. All right, so return, reestablishes the array. Then, ooh, where's that going? Let's do, is it shift control four? It's one of these, there we go. Oh, clean, clear the, clear the cell. So it clears the cell. Hey, Doxter. Loads the direction, which is the X direction, which is now FF. So it's none of those. Stores it in, no, loads. Right, so this is where we're going to change the X direction. All right, that's okay. Yep, yeah, that knocked it down. Now we're gonna process the Y direction. So Y direction should be one, and it is. So we're going down, so load Y, which is six, Move down by one, so here we are. This is where I think we're going wrong, yeah? So we're storing six, then we're increasing six, increasing it, we're loading it back in, which is send seven, we're testing it with the bottom of the screen, which is 17, it's nowhere near. So we are going to clear the carry and return. So we store it seven, okay. Oh, Sidewinder. Why are we doing Sidewinder? That's where it's going wrong. Why are we doing Sidewinder? We don't do Sidewinder on this one. So that's where it's going wrong. So we're ex executing the sidewinder. Right, let's let's just see what happens there. Oh, that's I've still got the breakpoint in. I? Hang on. Let's take the breakpoint out. That's better. That's how it should be. Now, have I broken it for something else? What else is using that? See what else is using that. Right, so that's that one, two. 
Um, that's boxes. Right, so here's... So that's doing... That is the meteorites. That's Sidewinder. That's the buzzers. Swoopers. What's the swoopers doing? Execute random change in direction. Oh, I wonder if it's that. That's is that the same one as the boxers use? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, hang on. Let's go back. So which one was it? Let's see if we've brought swoopers. That's the one. Uh, where's the execute? Yeah, swoopers. So swoopers are... Two. Two. Wave two. Let's see if we've broken them. They look all right. Okay. Leave it in there. But yeah, so that was that was an issue. That was an issue because it was dub it was doubling. It was doing double. Well, that's better. And we'll definitely put more we'll definitely put more of them on there. Cuz I'm thinking of having 10 per Having starting off at ten, rather than just five. Right. So boxers. So that was boxers. So what's the next one we're at? Where do we get to? Did we do miners? Uh, da, 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 da. Boxers. There we go. Right. Let's um, let's minimise all this rubbish. Right. Here we go. Floaters, swoopers, buzzers. Meteorites, boxers. Right, we'll leave boxers there. So the next one was miners. So let's fire up and get Myriad on the Vic. And it's not there. There it is. And see if we can find see if we can find the swooper log the miners logic. So we are looking for find miners. Nope. 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 Here we go. Minor movement. So that looks very short. That looks very short. So we'll grab it. And we will put it here. Right, let's just make sure I get it in the right place. That's there. Here we go. Slap it there. So that's minor, so that's execute. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right. So that's minor. And then this is execute. Do, 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 do. Right. Where's the other bit that I need? We went through it as well. We went through it. Insta instantiate miners. Here we go. So we'll grab that to there. And we'll stick it in there.
Now, I think we called it init. Yeah, insert. There we go, insert. Right. Let's get rid of all the rubbish. Because we don't need it anymore. Now, most of this I think we've already got. I think we've already got most of this. Right. Let's get aliens up there. And we'll go to minor. Uh, the one before boxes. Here we go. Right, so calculate start position is exactly the same as that. Calculate diagonal start position is exactly the same as that. Utils. Right, minors. Store it away and then we're doing elements, isn't it? Elements dot insert insert into there we go did not insert into the array that's okay and we're changing getting rid of the word bad guy to be element so we're gonna do that and then JSR ink that, so we'll grab that, put that there, and then it's back to insert. Right. So, there's nothing special in there, is there? Nothing special at all. Right, let's see if we can get it up and running. So if we go into elements. So we're doing the insert first, which is this one. Ooh, mines. Was it mines? Not miners. <gasps> oh, miners. So where's mines then? Oh, that's down here. Right, okay, we need to swap this lot over. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'll worry about the mines in a minute. Miners. So, we are on 5 6, wave 6. So we should see some miners. And we're not. Oh, wow. Oh, I'd have copied the execution across, didn't I? I ain't done that yet. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, to there. Just rem that out for the moment. Ooh. Oh, miner. <laughs> Hang on. We did box, oh, boxes as, as plural. Miners, there we go. Hey, face. Right. There's our miners. Nice. Now, to get them moving. So, let's tidy this up and see if there's anything that we need to put in place. Right, get rid of that. Right, so that was looking at meteorites and we're not looking at that, so we're going to be looking at that. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was close. Nearly got rid of a T. Right. So not moving is here, but that not moving is an RTS, isn't it? Yeah. And we also need to move it across. There we go. Right. Random change two. So that's going to be this one. Okay. Update bad guy ray. Now, why are we updating the bad guy ray? Um, oh, I see. I see. Right, okay. Um, we need... We need the execution. Where's the execution code? That's add. Execute. Here we go. Um, that's doing that. Is this doing the execution? Yeah, here we go. Movement. So we'll do it right. We need that. We need that. Because what's happening is... So if I do that... Then we can do the update. Then we can do the update. Which is this. But that's elements. Come on. Right. So what's happening is... Is... It's evaluating... It's changing the direction or working out where the miner's going to go. But this here... So I think the 4% test is utils. This is, are we dropping a mine? And that's why they update the alien array. That's why they update the alien array. So we could then use the temporary storage to create the mine. Yeah. So we're doing the 4% test. Branch if not equal, if we are, then we're doing a copy. Now, have we got the copy in elements? I can't remember. No, we haven't. Let's find it. Let's find it. There it is. So we're going to put it into the elements array. Keep going, John. Keep going. Is that in the elements? That's definitely in the elements, isn't it? Is that it? So, look. Go to the bottom. Yeah. Right. So, let's add it there. Get rid of the, the rubbish. Copy element to temp. This is copy temp to element. I'm copying the wrong one. do that one as well <laughs> right 
Right. Let's get rid of the rubbish. By the way, can you see that? I've not asked you. Well, that's too big for me. Can you see that? Right. I'm not sure. Oh, I see what it's doing. I see what it's doing. And we don't need that. And we don't need that. So copy. So right, that, what should we call it? Should we? Because win element. Copy temp two. Or copy two. No. We'll leave it, we'll leave it. I'll, I'll think of a better name for it. So, um, so that's, if we do minus one, so if we do branch it plus, plus, that becomes a six. And then we can get rid of this minus one. There we go. So we are copying element to temp. And then we're copying it back. So we're making a copy of we're, we're, we're taking a copy of the miner, yeah, and we're storing it away. And then we're going to instigate, initiate a mine. Right, okay, so we need another one. So let's do it, mine. So we need... To mine dot insert right let's find the mine code let's have a look uh, da, 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 da. ooh lots of lots of mine <laughs> ah here we go let's go look for that So, very simple, very simple. Oh, his <laughs> famous last words. Right. Right, so this is insert. So we are inserting. So set current element to current position. Ooh. I don't think we've got that. No, we haven't. Okay, let's go hunting for that because I think it's only just a quick copy of the X and Y to be honest. So set element, here we go, to current position. So we'll grab that and we'll put it at the bottom with the rest of them. Right, so set 
Right, I'm not going to call it set element, so it's set to current screen position. So that's what we're going to do. So we're set, we're taking the screen, current screen coordinates, we're setting it to the element and the Y. Then we're setting the X direction to zero and the Y direction to one. So it's going to be going down. Right, so let's do that. Uh, so elements dot that. So we're choosing white as the color, character as the mind, set that, set the character, the alien type, and then we are element dot insert into array. And then when we've done that, we RTS back to here, and then we copy the minor element back into the storage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that looks like it should work. All right, let's try. So we need to, hey, Akmafin. Uh, right, well, let's activate the execution code, which is there. There. Oh, hang on. We're going up, aren't we? So we're eight. I forgot to do this one as well now. So that's six. <laughs> that went out the window a long time ago, mate. Right. Let's see. So we're in it. So we, sh we should get... Oh, hopefully we'll get some movement. Right, it's dropping bombs, it's dropping mines, but... Oh, we haven't got the mine movement in, have we? So they're dropping mines. Okay, right. We haven't got the the mine movement in. We've only just done the insert. So, miners, miners. Right, let's just do that right so mines we need to find the execution code for the mines which I think is just basically going down so mines movement if I've caught if I've ooh we don't have any mines movement Oh, here we go. I put mines in there. Here we go. Right, let's grab that to there. I'm glad I code blocked it when we disassembled it. It makes it a lot easier to identify where the routine starts and finishes. Right, so this is execute. Right, let's get rid of this rubbish. No, no, we're not doing fighters. We're looking at mines. There we go. So this looks pretty standard, to be honest. Oh, okay. I'm not sure we've got that. <laughs> yes we could we just have five or six assembly files to, to put together not just the one right 
let's do this. Right, process movement. So if we go into aliens, we can we can basically uh, copy, I think. Now that is boxes. So miners, that would probably be a better one. Process direction. Ah, okay. That's insert. I'm looking in the wrong place. There we go. Um, process direction isn't there, is it? Have we had process direction already? That's meteorites. Here we go, process direction. Here we go. See, because because the mines only fall down the screen, it's just a we're just processing the direction. We're not even actually move, making them change or anything like that. So um, we then do up, get update bad guy array. Uh, do are we doing that? How are we gonna do that? Common functions execute sidewider movement. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It says what it is. It says what it is. Um. I think that can be an RTS. I think that could be the RTS. Because we haven't fallen off the bottom of the screen, but I think we need to look for that, and I don't think we've got that. Uh, element, elements. I mean, I'm in the wrong file. Elements. I don't think we've got that. Clearing. No. Right. Let's find that. There we go. So that's that. Yeah, I figured it out, mate. I figured it out. I'll show you. In a, I'll show you in a minute. Let's just finish this, and I'll show you. Not blowing my own trumpet, but I think it's rock hard now. <laughs> I can beat it. I can't beat it before. I uh, definitely can't beat it now. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll show you in a minute when we when we sort this out. I'll show you show you what we've done, what I've done. Um, I know what the problem was. I'll show you. All right. So clear. Right. We're not going to call it bad guy. So we clear clear array element. Uh, yeah, we'll have to. We'll stick with that. Uh, da, 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 da. What we're we gonna do? <laughs> now, nah, well, sort of. It is partly my coding, partly my coding mistake, but. Pop, pop, yeah, partly my coding mistake, really. Right, so clearing the element array is basically putting it back to an empty space. Um, now, are we still using bad guys, or have I changed it? No, nope, still using bad guys. Okay, that's fine. I'll leave that. So clear um, element array. So this is jumping to elements. Dot clear element array because it'll come here it'll set the element to empty space store it in the thing and then we'll do an RTS which then will RT RT oh no it won't no it won't it doesn't get called from there does it or does it 
Yes, it does. Because we do the test here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Constant. What is the mine? Oh, A. Hey, so it's after bricks. Wow. we got a long way to go. Right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So, for every one of these, I'm going to put one of these in. And then I don't need that. And we'll do the same for this as well. On this side. I don't want to be having to figure it out. Because we're going to be splitting now. Right, so, whoops, grab that, put one there, put one there, put one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. That's the insert. Now, the execution. Where's the execution? That was above the insert, wasn't it? There we go. So, let's grab that. Get rid of that. And we'll do it here as well. Get rid of that and change these. Ooh, intelligent sense. If you just wait too long. Jumps in there and tries to make your life easier. Right, that should do it. Right, okay. So, we'll do the insert first. Even though it's never, never, ever... No, we'll do the execute first because that's top of the list. Right. So, mines is after bricks. So, miners. So, reflectors. Right, we're missing some alien types here. Right, so this, so after miners, it's fighters. Right? And after fighters, it's pods. Then, as, ooh. Oh, all these shortcuts that I never ever actually use. Right, so pods. Next one is this asteroids. Uh, what's after that? Bricks. And then after that, mines. Here we go. Reflector, virus, bomb, reflector, bullet, bomb, builder, explosion, explosion, debris. Right, so we're, so we're copying from there to the reflector. So we'll grab that and we'll put that there and then we'll change these. <laughs> oh dear mate, don't worry about it. Right, now we'll do the insert. So reflect so it's still the same thing, so I must have just done a copy and paste, right. So this is doing this way. Oh, And it's insert. I 
Okay. Looks like it. Right, so we'll grab fighters to reflectors and we'll bang it in here. In there. And we need to change the name, don't we? No, we don't. No, we don't. What am I thinking? I'm looking at the wrong bit. I need to do that. I've done it that side. And we've done it that side. Right. So. I can get rid of that line and activate that in the insert. Same here. Get rid of that. Activate that. Yep. And then in the in the execution, we'll do the same thing. So mines is there. Get rid of that line. And mines is there. Get rid of that line. Right. If I've done this right, we should have mines falling down the screen. If I've done this right. Here we go. Watch it go boom. Oh, it went boom. That's what it's called, isn't it? Oh. Beg your pardon. Right. Ooh. That's up. We're in the plural. We're doing plurals, aren't we? We're not doing singulars. There we go. We have a mine falling down the screen and another one. And another one. And if you notice, they disappear off the bottom of the screen. They don't wrap round. There we go. Right, that's another one. Right, that's, an, that's another alien type done. Nice. So we'll minimize mines because that's a unique thing. <laughs> and the miners is just standard. So what's next? Fighters. That's next. Right, let's find fighters. Let's see what we got going for fighters. So there's the fighter movement. That was quite convenient, wasn't it? So we'll grab that. So that's the movement, so we'll stick that in there. So we'll stick it after mines. So fighters. Insert this. Bang it over. So this is execute. And I'm just gonna rem it out for the moment. Just going to try and do, get the insert working first. Right, where's the next one? Oh, can't spell fighters. Is that better? Right, that is not it. Yeah, this is it. And it looks pretty simple. Stick it in there. Tab it over. Right, this is insert. Get rid of the junk. And this looks very similar to another alien type
there's going to be lots of op opportunities to optimize this I'm telling you right so this this looks like one of the first first ones hang on boxes new no. it's going to be one of these isn't it not meteorites it's going to be this buzzers start position start direction there there we go same as the swoopers so alien stuff start direction Look, see what I mean? It's the same. Right, we'll do that. Oh, no. We'll do that. Fighters. Then insert into array. I'm telling you, we will be able to We'll be able to knock this knock this down. Definitely gonna be able to knock this down. There's too many similarities. Uh, add another element. Because I'm thinking of making this a constant as well. Thinking of making that a constant. We'll have to find them all. Um, in fact, let's do that now. Um, where should we put it? Bad. We'll put it in there. Bad guys. Yeah, we'll put it in there. So, uh, ooh, So we'll do that, and we're gonna we're gonna knock knock it on the head in here. So let's just do a quick change while we're here. So that one, that one, that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Meteorites doesn't use it. Uh, boxes does miners do mines don't and fighters do right and I'm, I'm at, I've actually thought while I was doing this I'm gonna do this because they're gonna be two different ones and I reckon we should be able to get away with 10 for the 64 maybe more Right, okay, so that, that is done. Quick digression there, so insert. Insert was second, wasn't it? Here we go. Execution. Insert, here we go. Right, so fighters, that's our next one. So we're taking that out and get rid of that. Get rid of that, and I've just spotted something as well. That was strange. I missed one. Right, so that's the insert, and I've rammed out the execution. Yeah, right, let's put it in. So we are at six, I think. Yeah, so we're going to do seven. Right. Here we go. Fighters. Oh, and there they are. All ten of them. Nice. Right, so we've got the fighters there. Cool, this is... This is good. <laughs> ten. Might have overdone it with ten, but we can mess around with that number. <laughs> it might, I might not be able to play it. 
with my things. Oh, right, okay. Before we do the execution, right, here we go. Let me load, let me load co uh, Connect 4 up. Right, so. Come on. Fire it up. Hello. There we go. So here we go. This is Shalom's test thing, yeah? So, see if I can boost the font a bit. Right. So this is this is Shalom's test thing, right? And we had a problem that if you use the sequence 43156, you could beat it all the time, yeah? So we're going to start the game. All right? So, you tell me which column to put it in. You tell me which column to put it in. I mean, I can follow this. 43156. Okay. So we've got five and we got one and five. So one, then five. Any more? See if you can beat it. I'll follow the numbers that are put on there. All right. Five. Yeah. Five again. All right. Come on. You got to beat it. Four. Three. Right, there's three. One. Okay. Two. You lost. <laughs> Let's do it again. Right, I'm going to do it, right? So here we go. When it comes up. Four, three, one, five, six. Right? So one to try and stop him winning. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm going to go four. Um... Oh, oh, will he do it? Will it do it? Okay, three. Oh, you... he spotted it. Two, okay. Yeah, <laughs> we was about to lose. <laughs> um, okay, uh, la, 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 where am I going now? Um, let's see, if I go that way, so we'll do a six. Oh, that wasn't quite how I what en envisaged, envisaged it. Uh, um, 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 right, we'll do a four because there's two ways there. Okay. Five. Um. Five. Uh, da, da, ba, 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 ba. So far, I think. Right, we'll do six. Because we can set a trap. There we go. And I think five. Oh, come on. Oh, you get... We lost. We lost. I didn't see that. <laughs> so... Um, I've sent it... I've, I've sent... Yeah, di diagonal. So I've sent it to Shallon. All right. Um, 
so hopefully on Tuesday's stream he'll be using the new the new um, Connect 4 and the problem was the problem was was um, in the in this right so we're doing anti <laughs> the anti theft version so we're doing the min max yeah we're doing the min max uh, thing so what it does it works it so every time you every time you make a move it's got the board and then what it does it tries every possible combination for itself so it starts at one it says um, do I do I get any benefit from this position and then it does two three four five six and it works out and it works out which um, which is the better position right and then and that was the problem right because it always worked out the position one was the best position because it the <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this because it wasn't looking at where the player was going to put next it was looking at where it was going to put next so it, it, it just it, it just it just ignored where you went <laughs> it says i'm going here this is the better place i'm going here i'm going to win i'm going to win <laughs> so what i've done down here what i've done down here is first it does the opposition move so it does the opposition move. So it says, right, if the opposition went next, which is the move that they would do? Which is the best result that they could get? So it's testing that if there's a three, you the opposition would put on the fourth, yeah, and get a win. So it's taking note of where all those wins are, and then it's it's it, it adds a scale, it does a scale to them, and then what it does then, it says right. Where's the best position I can go? Yeah, where where is it? Which <laughs> which we didn't do before. <laughs> you know, we only did this. We didn't check where the opposition went. We we only checked where we went. So now I've got it doing both. And so what it's going is, it, and what it does, it has two results. It says, is the opposition result bigger than my result? Because if the opposition result's bigger than mine, I need to go there. Right, but if my results bigger than the opposition, then I go with me. Yeah, and so I've made it rock hard. It's now rock hard, and it looks five moves into the future, and it looks five moves into the future. It works out um, um, five to the power seven different combinations. That's what it does. No, it doesn't always win. It doesn't always win. That's the thing. I mean, I, 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 got, I actually won purely by accident before I sent it to Shalom. And that's where I got, where I got two, two lines, yeah? So it, it had to pick which one it nicked which one. And then you can get the other one, yeah? I, and that was just by, purely by accident that I got that. But that's what, so that's what's doing it now, yeah? So before it was only bothered about where it was going to do where it was going to win yeah so it ignored the three along the bottom as it just ignored it it just went <laughs> now it doesn't if it sees the three on the bottom it will stop you yeah in fact it will stop you on two because it knows that the third one gives a better score than the second one if it hasn't got if it if it hasn't got a better move it will always block you. So yeah, it it, it the AI now is a bit more robust <laughs> Bec because because I forgot to check where the opponent was going to go. <laughs> so like I say, it looks five. It looks five. Looks five uh, moves into the future unless you get to the close to the top and then it reduces the moves down because you can't do five. You know. Um, and and it checks both the AI and where you guys are going to possibly go. I need to nerf it down. Well, we'll we'll see. 
we'll see. We could put a we could put a sort of um, a coin flipper in there, yeah, because all it's doing is returning the best move. So while we're evaluating the best move, because it has a it has a, an array of scores, yeah. Instead of me picking out the best one, we could put a ten percent, like Shallon did for the noughts and crosses. We could put put a ten percent and say, um, give me a random number between one and ten, yeah. And if that number is between uh, one and nine, I'm picking the best one. But if it's ten, then I'll randomly pick the move I'm going to do, and so add a bit of, um, you know, mistaking in there. <laughs> but it's going to be it'll be interesting for you to see, it'll be interesting to see if you guys can win it i did win it purely by accident when i was testing it and that's only because i had two possible choices i had two possible choices and the ai can only pick one of them yeah and so it just picks it, it picks one of them it can't pick so it picks the best one yeah now the 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 two would have been two best ones so it would have picked the best one <laughs> well you you made me look a fool yesterday by coding a machine an AI that ignored the player's turns <laughs> so yeah so um so i have um I've uh, fixed it. Can you see how many console logs going on because of me checking? Especially when it was, I mean, uh, it was checking two moves and, and it prints, and, and when you've got the console logs, right, it prints out the possible moves. And there was like hundred and something of them, just, be, just being two moves in front. Maybe you can code it to run the area of a sp <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um so i've sent it shallon he's he'll probably use it on his um maybe you could make it print out the best computer move tip for us <laughs> <laughs> well yeah um so i've sent it shallon and i'm also doing code breaker as well I'm also doing code break, so I'm working on code break, so you can have code break on sound stream as well. So it'll be like Wordle, but with numbers, yeah. Um, and I might, I might, I might make it five digits rather than four, just to add a bit of, bit of um, difficulty to it. So code breaker will be is going to be my next game that, to put in the Shallon game list. Now the real question is, would this AI beat yesterday's AI? Hands down, absolutely hands down. Because the yest yesterday, and I've still got it, it's here. So connect for bit old before. So this is the one that is nerfed, yeah? I mean, I can show you. Let's, let's change it to the old one, yeah? Let's change it to the old one. So dot old dot before. Right, so this is what happened before, right? So, and the sequence is dead easy, right? Here we go. So, once it comes up, four, yeah, three, one, five, right? It's completely ignoring me. It's completely ignoring me. It says you're not going to win. You're not going to win. And then as soon as you, you can either put two or six in, you win. Because the old AI just ignored the opponent. <laughs> in, its, in, its work, in its working out. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, there we go. Right. So Shalom's got that. So you, you'll, be able to play, you'll be able to play the new an improved version of Connect4 on Shalom Stream tomorrow. Right. Right, let's get rid of that. So there you go. That was that was what went wrong. 
And it's good. It's good that you guys found it because <laughs> I could I couldn't be I couldn't beat it when it was nerfed. <laughs> I don't and Sharon said it was hard, and then you guys just wiped the floor with it. <laughs> well, yeah, champions always win. Forget the opponent. We don't... We, yeah, so... Um, but I'm doing um, Codebreaker as well. I'm working on Codebreaker. So hopefully for next week, he'll have Codebreaker as well. Because I thought that's a good one to play as well. Similar to Wordle, but numbers. Right. So, execute. Let's unrame this. And let's get these fighters moving. I wonder how... <laughs> well, go for it. I mean, I, I did take... I, I, I have tested it, but I am rubbish at Connect 4. My son... When he was five and six, he used to trounce me. So. Was that Nico? Okay. Oh, get twitchy when we have shaking going on. Right. So, let's get this cleaned up. So hopefully you'll have fun with it. Hopefully. Yes, Code Breaker is mastermind. Yeah. <laughs> or you can play like your. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yes, um, Code Breaker is this. It's the same code breakers I've got on here. Hang on, let's start it. There you go. Same as that code breaker. So you do guess. And it's four numbers, yeah? Like that. <laughs> oh, it's not updating the screen. Ooh, we'll have to look at that. So two is definitely in there. Two is definitely in there. It's not updating the screen. I think I've broken it with the vote. Two. I think black is the right place. Right number, right place. So two is definitely the second digit. <laughs> While you're playing this. While you're playing that, I'll do this. Ooh, that was a good guess. Just the last digit you want now. There you go. See? Code breaker. But. The one I'm doing for Shallon is going to be five. Yeah? It's going to be five. <laughs> I love the game. Let's ship it. <laughs> yeah. The one for Shallon is going to be five. Anyway. Right. So we're going to rem that out because that's the voice thing. Right, aliens. Let's find... So random. Yes, you won in three. You won't be able to do that on Shallon Stream because everybody's going to have a go, aren't they? So, I mean, there you add... There was my guess. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That was five guesses on that. Um, well, the code will be the same. We just have an extra digit, that's all. Extra digit. Right. Um, I am looking random direction. That's the one, isn't it? That's the one, but it's not that one. It's the first one, I think. That's random direction two. Sidewinder. There, that one. Do that. That's utils. 
4% test. Right, element. Oh! Oh, we got a new one. <laughs> Where's the fun if it's... <laughs> well, it's never going to always be that. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. We'll see, mate. We'll see when you do it. Try it. Right, so we've got a new one. We've got a new one. So we've got the left hand reflected bullet. Right. So let's put that in. Left hand reflected bullet. Let's get that. Let's find that. So we'll leave that for the moment. I'm going to run that out. Right, I'm going to run that out and we'll just see if they start moving. We'll just see if they start moving and then we'll we'll put the bullets in. And they're not moving. And because they are not moving, because I haven't set up the execution. Here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Right. Try again. There we go. They look all right. And they're not dropping two. No, they're dropping one line. Nice. Right, let's get the bullets in. Let's get the bullets in. Right, left hand bullet. Uh, alien, where are we? So that's what we're looking for. And there it is. Right, so we've got some sound code in there. So we'll do that. Right, so insert. And we'll get rid of all the junk. Right, so this is set in the voice box too so we're just going to rem that out for the moment because we're not doing sound just yet we'll rem that out and then we'll sort we'll, when we get to doing sound we'll sort it right so set well, that's the same as mines isn't it so we can nick it from mines grab that And put it there. Left hand a bullet. Set it to yellow. Right. Uh, elements dot insert. Into the array. Leave the sound. RTS. Which then comes back to here. So if we do that now, we can grab that dot insert. Right, I'm just going to make sure where's left hand. Ref, ah, I've called it reflected bullet. So we'll do that. We'll call it reflected bullet. Right, so reflected bullet dot insert. That does that. Right. So let's add the moving code for it as well. Might as well. Uh, so how are we going to find that? 
Let's see if I've got reflected bullet. Instantiate, instantiate, instantiate. Okay, right. Ha, do we have any moving? Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. Um, ooh. Got an extra bit in it. Right. So, um, execute. So, that is insert. Execute. Right, let's get rid of some of this junk. Right, there's some stuff in here that we haven't even considered yet. Right, so not moving, which is down here. So update, so update bad guy. No, we don't need to because we're going to RTS. Uh, da, da, da. Right, JSR, right. And we'll rem that out because we haven't done the collision detection yet. Um, so we hit something. Hello, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. There's plenty, plenty of opportunity to optimize all this rubbish. I tell you, tell you, lots and lots of opportunity. Right, I. If we hit something, we're going to the next bad guy array. But we don't need to do that. We can just RTS. So we hit something and move in. We. I know it's the same thing, but I'm just going to leave it there just in case we have to write any code, yeah? So, process direction. Right, where's my process direction? I know we've got one. That's asteroids. I think it was swoopers, wasn't it? Process direction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We didn't do the calculate whether to drop on the the swoopers, or did we? We'll have to have a look at that. Right, uh, process, process, here we go, process direction. Have we fallen off? And we're doing another bullet test. Have we fallen off? Fallen off? Have I missed it? Oh, so I have. Right, so this is a new function that we did. And I think we're missing a bracket there. So this is elements dot clear array element. There we go. So there's the two collision detects. Yeah, there's the two collision detects, but we've not written them yet. But I've just noticed that we need to do the ca this calculate whether we've dropped on the swooper because I don't think it's done. So, we'll just check that. Right, so, execution, execution. Have I done the fighter's execution and reflector bullet execution, which is there. Let's do that. And there. Let's do that. Might as well do the insert as well while we're here. 
Uh, reflect a bullet. Oh, is that the execution? Oh. Okay. So what have I done? Okay, execute. Reflector. Reflected bullet. There we go. And reflected bullet. Okay. So I've just... Oh, I've activated half the insert. There we go. That would have been embarrassing. Right. So, now we can go back up here. And... We've got the insert there. So we've got it inserting. And we've got it running. Right. Let's see if we get the fighters to shoot at us. Go there quick. Go there rapid. Oh, there's something going wrong there. <laughs> They're a bit rapid. Um. Oh, we did have. Oh, kaboom! <laughs> oh, it's blowing a fuse. That is. Um. I think, I think our execution is wrong. I think our execution is wrong. Right, let's get the constants up. Let's just make sure we got my numbers right. Right, so. Floater is zero. Swooper, buzzer, meteorite. Boxers, miners, fighters. Then we got pod, which is these two. Um, asteroids, bricks, mines, which we've done. Reflector. Virus, bomber, reflected bullet, uh, builder, explosion, explosion type bullet. Zero, zero, one, two. Oh, stop it, VS Code. Right, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A. Yeah. B, C, D, E, F. Yeah, that's bomb. One, zero. One, 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 two, one, three. So that's right, okay. So the reflected bullet. That is really, really fast. Um, where's our array? Is that in storage? Did we put it in storage or did we? Uh, must have put it in storage somewhere. Uh, okay, it must be machine specific. There we go. There we go. Right. So let's convert this into proper money. So. 
A B C D E F one zero one 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 two one three one four Now that's wrong because we're doing this, aren't we? In fact, I think we should redo this. Right, I think we should redo this. I think we should redo this. And I'm thinking of this. And thumbs, fingers and thumbs. Two more. Right. Thank you. So let's um, let's put them in. Put the types in there. Let's get the types in there. Right, so this is floaters, swoopers, I'm trying to spell it, I'm trying to spell them right. don't need that anymore bullet that can't be right that cannot be right
That can't be right. Well, these were the original values, weren't they? Yeah. So these were the original values. So reflected bullet is E, which is what? The 14? So they got 15 as one, which is a bomb. Have I got them one out? 14. Oh, hang on. Minus one of them. Minus one. So that's zero. Right, so we're going to minus one of them. So the reflected bullet is 14. In reality, it's 13, which is three. That's here. But, no, it's there. OF. The reflected bullet should be OF. So, 14, OA, 03, 05, OF, AA, 14, 14. Where's 14? Oh, that was mine. That's mine's, isn't it? 14 is 11, so 10. Okay. Um. So, 7... Seven was seven was OA. Yes, seven was OA. Okay. That then 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 bullets too fast. So so reflected bullets is fourteen or yeah fourteen. So but then that would oh it, it was one. Oh let me run it. Let me run it. Let's run the fighters. Fighters. Oh, that's the next, isn't it? Oh, I've got it on off off speed. Right. Let's see. No, it's not this one. It's the next one, isn't it? They're the they're the miners. Bullets are not that fast. Right, so we're going to change it. We're going to change it so the bullets are not that fast. Uh, reflected bullets will make three. See how that see how that flows. And then we'll figure out why it's crashing. That's better. But my bullets are really slow. Well, it's not crashing now. Oh, it is. There we go. So the bullets are really slow. Am I looking at the right place? Right, where's the... Uh, um, do I have... I do have the elements, bullet elements, don't I? Right. I'm just wondering. So the bullet must be running because it's going up the screen. So bullet dot execute. Let's have a look. Bullet dot execute. Where we are? Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So we're not testing the timer. So we're not relying on the timer. So the timer's coming from here. This is where the time is coming from. So what we've what have we got for the bullet is five. So why is it I'm wondering if it's running this. I am wondering if it's running that. Um 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 um, um. Oh, 
Right. Oops. I'm just going to test the theory here. I think it's running that. So I'm going to grab that. And we're going to make it a three. So it, we know it's significantly faster. Alright, down we go. Fire. No! So, no, it must be right. Right, let's find out why, 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 why we are crashing. Um, so, um, it, it did it it did it for a while didn't it so I'm just wondering if we have we have we have we got a stack problem I wonder if we've got a stack problem let's find out shift f6 yeah let's see if we've got a stack problem so we're looking up here so does it go down No, it's hovering around the F0 mark. Seems to be alright. Let's see, when does it start? So the bullets are disappearing one away from the floor, which is right. And the stat point is okay. Okay, so we'll go to that view, there we go, and we'll look at the array. Right, so this is the array, so FF means the slot's empty, yeah? So we, 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 we seem to be all right. We're not running out of elements. Oh, it did go though, didn't it? But we didn't run out of elements. So it's not that. And a stack point of F2. Do, 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 do. Let's do that again. Now we're running out of elements when I'm hitting the Cool, we did fill that up with bullets, didn't we? Maybe we need to make the bullets faster. But I don't see anything wrong with the array. Um, there, at the top, we've got a bullet that's not moving. And then it goes. So, 6 is our element type, and 13 is our bullet. So we've got a couple of OEs in there. What's, a, what's our OE? Oops, wrong one. What's OE? Oh, reflected bullet. Yeah. I'm just that's what I'm just wondering. Um so uh da, 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 da. how are we gonna debug this? Right, so we've got right 13 13 13 
13 is our bullet. 13 is our bullet. But they're not active up here, right? Because remember, we're using the X to determine whether the thing... To be honest, I th I think I think we should change that. I think we should change that. I think we should use the type as the um, the marker, not the x x value. Because as you can see, we've got lots and lots of my bullets here. Anyway, so we got O E there, O E O E. Right. Oh, yeah, let's let's do it again and let's see if we can spot what's going on. We'll try and slow it down when it gets to that point. In fact, we'll speed it up. And as soon as we see a bullet stop, Oh, I thought I spotted one. Oh, it didn't do it then. Um, that one. No, 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 that one. Which one am I after? Here we go. Are we overwriting anything? We shouldn't be. So this is the screen here. This is where our code's running. Do we see any... When it goes pop, do we see any spurious writes? There, you seeing it? Look there, boom. Right, okay, we've got some weird, got some weird activity going on. Did did you see where the? I don't I don't know if. Um, C64 debugger does that screen in big mode. Hang on. Let's see. Does it do it in big mode? Ah, there it is. Right. Watch. You'll see some... Sp when it starts going wrong, you'll see some speckles shoot through. Yeah? So I might just slow it down just a tug. We'll do half speed, there we go. Look, can you see? The aliens go wrong and then it, that's it, it destroys the game. Right, okay. Yeah, all over the place. So, um, process direction. So that's sh the, the, the the bullet should only be going down, right? Um, the bullet should only be going down. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. I'm just wondering, because we do ink Y there. We set, right, we set the screen position and the direction there, I think.
Yes. So we set the Y direction there. So, um, is it something to do with this? Proce elements dot process. Pro Let's have a look. Have we got a bug in that routine? Clear the cell, load the X direction. If the X direction is, then we process the Y direction. We load the Y direction and we are moving down. So we load Y, add, move down by one. Right, where's move down by one? That's in utils. Move down by one. The so we check for the bottom. If it's equal to the bottom, then we zero and set the carry. Where's that? There. So we zero and set the carry. So if we go back. So we store and then we return back to here. Branch if carry saying we've fallen off the top. So we then clear out the array. Set it to store it in. Ooh, hang on. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I thought it was there, but it's not. Because then we RTS back. We RTS back up here. Come on. Where are you? here so the, this is the bad guy array there we go we execute the element type and then we update the array so because we've updated the array which should be here it is the X should be put back So why? Why is it? Um, right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and figure out why it's doing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to rem out the moving of the fighters, yeah? And we'll just see if it's the bullets that are causing the problem, yeah? So there we go, we've got the fighters just shooting. Let's see. Let's see if it's the bullets that are causing the problem or the fighters. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, hello, welcome. My bot doesn't automatically do a follow, so I'm having to write it. Uh, Mayor of your knights. That's a unique one. Right, so it's not the bullets. It's not the bullets causing the problem. That's been running long enough, hasn't it? Right. 
Okay. So we... So it's not the bullets that's causing the problem. Okay, so we will... We will unrem that and rem out the bullets so it doesn't add bullets and we'll do it again. This time I'm going to run it in debugger mode. There we go. Right, let's see. So they're all moving. Hang on, are we... Yeah. We'll slow it down and we'll see if it's the fact that the ships have caused the issue. Okay, so far so good. Um, well, I'll speed it up, see if it will. Well, that's interesting. So on their own, they work. Wrap it up. Let's get it really going. Right, okay. On their own, they seem to work. So we'll just do that again. We'll do debugger. it up and let's just see if the bullets do so 400% so it's going four times faster see if we have any escaping bullets right okay Bullets are fine, fighters are fine. So what could cause the problem? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's fixed. The bullets are fine. The thingies are fine. But as soon as we put them together, As soon as we put them together, Not playing ball now. Not playing ball now.
Oh, I, I, I have a theory. I have a theory. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. You know you want to. Come on. Just one. Just give me one. Just give me one. Oh, it's not doing it now. I do have a theory though. Come on, do it. There we go. I think I'm I think my theory is right. Right, this is my theory. Right. This is my theory. Um we're doing a we're doing a 40% we're doing a 40% chance of dropping a a bomb, yeah? But the bombs the bombs um stop um, part the way down the screen but the problem is the um, the um, fighters uh, dropping down to the bottom of the screen and then they wrap to the top but if they decide to drop a if they decide to drop a bomb there right on the bottom then when we execute the bomb, it drops down one, and then the test doesn't work. And it'll just carry on going down and down and down, and that's I think that's what we're getting on there. So what we need to do is we need to um, we need to check we need to we need to check the why. I think we need to check the why of um, here. Oh, and is it store? It's storage, isn't it? Storage element. And then compare it to our field of battle. So the play area here. Yeah. So, but we need it to do, um, we need to compare it with um, dimensions dot playable area Oh, come on There we go dot bottom row Yeah, so we need to test So we're testing to see if we are on the bottom row. Have we moved to the bottom row? Yeah, because if we've moved to the bottom row, then we should not, we should not, even attempt to do a do a thing. So what we need to do is, uh, we need to be. We only need it to do it when it's less than. So if it's Yes, so what we need to do is we need to go branch if carry set if it's equal to or greater than, yeah? And then we'll just go not moving. We'll just jump straight out. We'll just jump straight out because we don't even want to entertain uh, putting a bomb on. Right, let's see. Let's see if that does it. Right, we'll speed it up and see. Now we've got a problem. It's not dropping any bombs. Hmm. Right, 
So we are not dropping any bombs. Right, okay. So I've got me thingy wrong. If it's equal to that... If the Y, hang on, am I in the right place? Yeah, fighters, right. If we load Y, oh, let's put a breakpoint on it. Let's find out. Hey, Pespi. We're just trying to figure out why we're getting corruption. I think I think I think I know what it is. It's just proving it. Right, load five A. That's all right. And that jumps. Oh. God. No one said anything. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you say anything? It's a hash. <laughs> I need to test it against the value, not the, mem not the memory location. Right, let's try it again. Right, we'll speed it up. See if it does it now. That blue one would have done it. <laughs> oh, we've still got it. We've still got it. Okay, we've still got it. Right, so let's go um, bottom row minus one. Yeah, so we'll go bottom row minus one. So we'll stop it, stop it doing it a row further up. Maybe we're just too close to the bottom for it to do it. Right, speed it up. So we're looking to see if the speckles here, yeah? And we, th we think it's the, um, the bullets. Well, the fighters, when they get to the bottom, stop shooting. We'll just give it a couple more minutes. Well, we seem to be doing okay. We seem to be doing all right. We'll need to do this with the miners as well. if these are too low um, I'm wondering if they're too low they get too low down right so the bullets stop no, they disappear. Hey, 
Hey, Nico. You alright? We're debugging, mate. Yes, we are. We are. Hmm. What are you growling at me for? Hey. What are you growling at me for? Are you wanting to go out? All right, then. guys. Won't be won't be a second. All right, be right back. And we are back. Hello. Everybody's been um, watered or dewatered. Right, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> right, let's figure out this problem. Right, um, I want to check something. When we insert we increase y okay so if we increase y right let's make that minus two if it's two rows above the bottom it can't it can't um drop a bomb uh drop a bullet let's try that now Right, let's see. So it's sh ooh. What happened there? It's not repeatable either. Maybe I should have used that scrolly thing. Oh yeah, it's there. We'll use the scrolly thing. So when it crashes again, we'll we'll stop it. There, that white one did one, yeah. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Pause. How do you pause the thing? Stop. Go back. Pause. How do you pause? Here we go. That's how you do it. F10, yeah, I've done F. I did F10, mate. Um, right. So as you can see, we've got we've got um, artifacts happening. Just trying to find the sp spot where it happened. There. Right. Right, 
I think I spotted it. Right, here we go. Um, this one here. This one here. Right. I think that dropped a bomb. So if I press F11. Yes, it did. It dropped a bomb and then looped back round. And I think that's where it went wrong. Because look, we've got an artifact here. So if we go back again, there, can you see the bomb there? So if I go that, that bomb shouldn't have happened because it's past, it's past the field of play, yeah? Because the bottom two lines here, the bottom two lines here are where our um, high score is going to be, yeah? So here is where the white I think it was there yeah there it is look so it is on the last line but the thing is that still dropped a bomb that still dropped a bomb if I F11 it and then try and stop it straight away did you see yeah did you see it Right there, so it dropped a bomb, and it's at, and that's why we're getting the artifact because that's gone past our bottom row test. So for some reason, I mean, why did the fighter get that all the way down there? There must be a right. That's right. Well, this this right. This is what we're. This is it. Right. So. That shouldn't have fired. That shouldn't have fired. So we're going to see if we can get. We're going to see if we. Oh, oh rats. Back up. Where? Oh, I can't remember where it was now. Is it this white one that's coming down the screen? Yeah, there. Back up. Back up there. There, there, there. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Right. So it comes to there. Right. F10. Right. Let's see if we can step through this. Right. So that's the raster. So this is the raster. So we'll put a break point there and run it through. Oh. Well, that's annoying. The breakpoints are not working. Yeah, breakpoints are not working. Rats. Right, now I know what's going on. So it's this. Right, so the bottom row. The bottom row. Yeah, bottom row equals the number of rows, which is 25 minus oh yeah minus two so this should be 20 22 so when we are testing our y we should be testing against 19 so if it's greater than 19 it should not do this it shouldn't do that at all Okay. So, um, so we need to check that that's right. Everything's done on storage element. Everything's done on storage element, yeah. So if we've added to it, it should be in there. 
Okay, so let's do three. Going four. Let's do four. Let's see if it does it now. So we should get no fighters firing below, 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 below. Let's move the ship, but firing below the ship, firing below that line there. And we did. We did. Where was it though? Hang on, has it already done it? Oh, it's already done it. Hang on. So it's somewhere there. That green one did. Okay. You mean this one here? No, the yellow one did. Just there, just, just before it moved. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. We have the test in the wrong place. This, this is hard, this is already moved. This, this in essence is already moved. Um, but we haven't, we haven't redrawn yet. So, so it's got it's looped back to the top of the screen, yeah. And then we're checking, um, we're checking blah 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 minus four, which is which is right. It's all the way up there. And it's it's thrown a fit. <laughs> All right, mate. We'll see you later. Okay, so that's the problem. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? So it dropped a bomb before it moved. Here, this is where it decide, decides to fire here. So, okay, so we need to... Um, I, think sh I think we should, I think we should move this. I think we should move that to above it. Let's see. 
Right, let me rem that out so we don't lose it. So here, I think we should do that there. So we check the Y, if it's minus three. No, then we go to here and we move. Go to here and we move and that is the same. So we load the Y, so we haven't even evaluated its direction. So it's, we're on row 19, we haven't moved. If we're on row 19, then we're allowed to do it. We do the 40% check. Oh yeah, we can create a bullet, create the bullet, then do the move. That might do it. That might do it. So, let's see, shall we? Let's speed it up. Oh, I think we've nailed it. Oh, did that one shoot just then? There should be a definite boundary where it shouldn't shoot, which is there, there, minus three. Anything below that should not fire. Oh, I think we've nailed it now. I think we nailed it. Move the ship to the lowest extreme. There we go. I think we've got it now. So we need to do, the, right, that seems to be working. So we need to do the same thing on the miners. Yeah, we need to do the same thing on the miners. So let's go to the miners, because that's dropping mines, remember? So here we go. So we'll do the, te we'll do the test here. Yeah. And we will do move element. And then we will take we don't need that update now we don't need the update so we'll take this 4% test oops and we'll put it there so it loads the Y if it's not if it's not below the um, it'll jump past and then do the update but if it does then it'll drop a mine right so mines 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 miners is one back one back let's just check so six so we oh dear they are running very slow They are running very slow. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... Am I looping past it? <laughs> am I looping past it? Oh, yes I am. <laughs> I've just spotted it. <laughs> I've just spotted it. Um, there, I've just spotted it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, okay. Right, so we've got two right, so we've got two more in. So let's let's just put little markers on. So this is that one's done. 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 Miners, we've just we've just tested. Done. We've just done fighters. We've done mines, and we have done reflective bullets. Whew, have we got time to do? I'm not going to do the pods because that is complicated. Do we have time to do any more? Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, I didn't check to see if the bullets goes faster now, did I? Oh, did I did I change it to three? No, I didn't. Let's change it to three. Oops, wrong one. Right. That's better. It's more like it. Cool. We made the ship move quick, didn't we? Right. Okay, let's get the fighters on. How's that look? <laughs> You're looking at the comments now. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, look at that. I can just just tap it fast enough. Right, okay, where where have I got bullet? Oh bullet, okay. <laughs> Alright, mate. There you go. You can have a couple of points for that. There you go. Right. So, we are... I wanted to go a bit further than that. But I think, I think the thing is, it's the pods. Reflectors, reflectors, I think they come out of the pods. The viruses definitely come out of the bomb pods and the bomb the bombers do. So, um, it was the swoopers, wasn't it? It was the swoopers that I wanted to, let's see, two. Is it those? No. No, 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 no. Three. Hang on, let's just check. Where's that comment? Asteroids. Miners. Mines. Fighters. Reflectors. Right. Was it the buzzers? No. 
So it's definitely the swoopers. We've got, here we go, calculate whether to drop a bomb. That is what I wanted to do. Right, let's see if we can find that in here. Here we go. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got it. Calc weather. There we go. Calc weather to drop a bomb. Right, so that is... That is going to be the same sort of thing, but it looks, I think, I think it looks like it could be um, a reused, oh yeah, it's used twice, so we're going to have to, so we can't just embed it, so we're going to have to uh, do it. So what we're going to do is we'll create another, another one called... Um, Right, and we'll have that routine in there. Right, so let's let's do this first. So, uh, calc. Uh, uh, here we go. Drop bomb or not? There we go. That'll do. That that's what we call it. So let's get rid of all this. Right, we'll rem that out because that's the insert. So this is utils, I think. Yeah, why not? Drop bomb. Well done, mate. Good suggestion. There you go, mate. Good suggestion. <laughs> to nuke or not to nuke. <laughs> yeah. Right. So this is elements. And this is elements. Now, we should put that test in. We should t put the test in. So, um, problem, yeah. So we'll grab that and put that there. So it's going to test before it drops the bomb. And then we'll take the test that we've got here. Grab that. And we'll put it in the calculator. I can get rid of all that now, can't I? And we'll put it in the calculator. Right, mines, we don't need. Fighters, we don't need. Here. Right, so we'll put that test there. Yeah? And we'll jump to that. Right, so we're doing the same test, so we can't drop a bomb below that that line. So we need to find the initiate bomb routine. So we'll find that. Move that over. Grab that. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's find it. It's got to be something simple. Here we go. Well, you can't get much simpler than that. So we'll insert that there. So this is insert. Get rid of the rubbish. Right, element. Dot insert into the array 
this is this is I think that was elements yep right so JSR insert so that'll do this here it'll insert the bomb right so execution need to find the execution bomb movement there we go falling off the bottom of the screen so it's the same sort of code that we've got for the uh, the fighters so execute get rid of some of this let's move that over there a bit so we've got a bit more space Right, so this would be elements dot process direction. Right, so bomb, we're not moving. Have we fallen off the edge of the screen? Yes, so this will be elements dot. And it's not clear bad guy, it's. Can't remember what it was called. No, can't remember what it was called. Oops. Elements, here we go. Somewhere near the bottom. Ah, clear array. There. So we jump to that, clears it out. Sorted. We don't need to do that. We just do RTS. <laughs> right. I'm going to put an S on that. Put an S on that. Everything's plural, keep forgetting. Everything's plural, right. Let's sort out the bomb. Sort out the bomb. Let's just make sure my plural is on the, there, S. And while we're here, we'll do the bombs. That's one. I'll make them close together once we've done them all. Uh, bomb, yeah, bomb execute, and the creation of it is bomb insert. Get rid of that. Bomb insert. Get rid of that. Bombs reflect bullets. Reflected bullets. Right. Go back to this. Right. So we should. Bombs drop bombs. Right. So here. JSR. Bombs. Dot drop bomb. Right, so that's the swooper. Let's go to swooper, which is swooper is level wave two. So we should now get it, get them dropping bombs. Come on. Oh, I've got an error. Oh. That's what it's called. Go. There we go.
Let's just make sure. Looks nice, case finished. Yeah, it's a pity we can't kill anybody yet. It's a pity we can't kill anybody. I think, I think the next thing, I think we'll, we'll finish up we'll, we'll, in the next stream because it's 11 now. In the next stream, we will f see where are we. So we've just done the bomb, right? So let's get that in. We've just done the bomb. So the pod's going to be a big one because that's that drops viruses, that drops bricks, that drops um, uh, reflectors, um, bomb and um, builders. Yeah, builders. So that that one that one. Um, that one alien type is going to drop an awful lot of things. Is a player death record recorded if the flames from the player engine is hit? Um, no. No. Let's just check. Let's check. Um, I think it does the, um, I think it does the four, yeah? Um, has the ship been destroyed? So it's that one. Okay, let's go to that. locate so it is right so okay let's see if we've got the death so that's the death loop That's where so that's where it's coming from. right so that's so that's where it's coming from so let's find that here we go ship destruction which is up here right so we're looking for that ship destroyed Okay. Oh, that's where we kill ourselves, where our reflected bullet kills us. Um, hit something. That's up here. That's the bullet collision system. Right. Did we hit something? Killed bad guy, update score. Has the ship collided? Oh, here we go. Right. So we check. So Y. So we check X and Y. So we increase X, increase Y. Decrease X, increase Y. So that's um, from there. That's one row, two rows, three rows. Yeah. So one, two, three. So we're only checking. We're only checking the ship. The flame is not part of the check because the ship with the flame is four high. But the ship is only three high. I, I did what very quickly. So yeah, so um, yeah, the ship, they're only tech, they're only checking. 
the the three by two space so the flame wouldn't cause us well we're getting there we're getting there um the game it's just all these bad guys it's all these entities you know we have got a lot of opportunity to make optimize this use the same routine because a, quite a lot of the the enemies are using the same code it's just the same code but again and again and i'm sure we can like we did with the insert and the execution looper i'm sure how much k is it taking um well that's basic isn't it um well we've got the buffer so we've we've got that hang on let's see so we've got the game start right okay so Let's do that. Um, what should we do now? Ah, oh, right, okay. So we do machine in specific, so let's. So it goes to four seven. So three so we've got we've got a gap. I mean I could bring this forward, but I didn't want to run it. I didn't want to run into the character set until I fig knew how much code this was taking, yeah, so that's why it's out there. But we're talking what foot four five six It's eight K just shy, isn't it? Eight K just shy so far. Including the character set. 8k just shy 38 to 48 effectively yeah the codes about three and a half yeah but we still got some more code to put in there so we've we've still got the we've still got the other um, alien types then we've got to do the bullet collision detection routine uh, and then we've got to do the shit destruction routine so we're getting there we're getting there um, the plan is to try and make it still fit in an 8k Vic that's the plan but if we don't it's one of those things but I think our optimization when we start when we've done it all and we start look seriously looking at it I think we'll be able to optimize it because the, like I say so far the same code has been repeated again and again and again and I'm sure we can make it much more optimized and not have the same bit of code repeating itself um, especially the instantiation code except for a couple of variations depending on what type it is it's just repeating itself again and again and again and I think we can I think we can try and um, optimize that and there's also other optimizations that we're gonna that'll be done we've done some of them but there's there's some more like the ship optimization we managed to do um because that was taking so much raster space raster space up and that's a point how much raster space are we taking up now where where are we where are we there we go let's see if we have blown let's see if we've blown our frame oops Go away. Yeah, we're blowing off. We're blowing our frame every now and then, but that's fine. That's fine. We have a lot more enemies on the screen. <laughs> a lot more bullets being shot at. Right, if I move that down. Whoa, that's definitely blowing the frame rate. But yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. 
So next next time we are going to tackle the pods. We're going to tackle the pod, and which means that's going to code up the bricks, the reflector, the virus, the bomb. Now, phase you was on about um, how to make an enemy aim towards towards where you when you're at. Yeah. Well, that that en enemy type does that the virus in this game follows you so if you're if if if, you, if it's coming down towards you and you manage to avoid it it will actually ho hook around and follow you and it eventually does get you if you don't shoot it um that that's that that's the the one with all the logic in where it follows yeah so when we get to that point you'll be able to see how steve implemented it but I'm not too sure what algorithm he used. Yeah. Right then, guys. I'm going to call that done for tonight. And like I say, we'll start on the pods, but that's going to involve everything. And then if we've got time, we can start. We'll implement the explosion and the debris type. And then we can start figuring out how we do the collision detection. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. Um hope you have fun with Connect 4 on Shalom Stream because like I say it's rock hard <laughs> you're going to lose a lot of points and I will code up I'll code up code breaker for him All right guys well thank you very much and I will see you on Wednesday take care bye Oh it's arriving on Friday nice mine's there mate mine's there <laughs> all right take care guys see you soon bye i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much